What's up folks, welcome back to the PNW Vibe YouTube channel. Got a little bit of a different video here for you today, but I figured this might help some of you guys out, so I wanted to go ahead and make this one real quick. So here's what we got going. So behind me here, we got a 20 year old refrigerator, 20 ish year old refrigerator. Works great, except for, except for this right here. This seal around the door is completely destroyed. Other than that, the fridge works great, the freezer works great. The thing's still got a lot of life left in it. So today, we're gonna fix this. So the first step in this process is gonna be to find out exactly what fridge you have. So start opening up the doors, poking around the fridge until you find a sticker, something that looks a little bit like this, and it has your model number and the brand of your fridge. So based off of that information and some measurements you take of this specific seal, you're gonna go on the internet and find the match for it, the replacement part. In my case, that would be this one, right there. Ta-da! So for anyone who's curious, the part number for this new refrigerator seal is WP6100-4010. So what we want to do here is we want to go around this shelf unit and pull all the screws out, which hold this shelf on and as well as the seal. Get this thing taken off. So before you do any of that, before you start pulling these screws out, go ahead and take all your salad dressings, your juices, your milk, and, and get it off of this shelf so it's nice and clean and there's no weight on it. Then you can go ahead and start zipping these screws out. On this particular fridge, they're quarter inch screws that also have a Phillips drive in the center. So you can use either a quarter inch socket or a Phillips head screwdriver. Start zipping these out. All right, so now we'll peel this seal off from around this door. Carefully, not to chip this old plastic and just be on the lookout for any of these screws that got stuck in the uh, in the seal here. For me, there's about 10 of them. Okay, so let's start getting this seal wrapped around this door here. You wanna orient it in, uh, in the direction where this fatter portion is facing you know, facing where this where the seal is gonna where the mating surface is gonna be, and the screw holes are facing the back. And you just kind of want to work this lip carefully around the entire edge of the door. Okay, now I'm gonna take three, four, five, six of these screws poke them through here just to kind of hold this seal in place. Okay, so here comes the hard part. That's going to be lining up all these screws. It oh, shouldn't be too bad. No, no, no. I no. think I got this part. Can do that? No, just need to get the first couple started and then it should be smooth sailing from there. So I just kind of got this thing balanced on my foot. Started on there. We should be able to just go through and all right. line that seal up all the way around and start zipping them in. All right, sweet. It's so actually lining up. Well, I shouldn't speak so soon, but it's starting to line up a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Okay, so it's definitely easiest to stick your screw in the socket and then good lord. Starting to wonder if a screwdriver would be easier to get these started. Oh yeah, that's a thousand times easier. And that's it folks. All right, you just saved yourself a bunch of money on not having to call a refrigerator repair guy out. That new seal was only like 125 bucks, so not too bad. No new fridge, no repair guy, and this thing seals up real good. Perfect. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. If you thought it was helpful, go ahead and like this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.